shifting now to his uh, CDLB Good. learner's permit, which Mike has already gotten. Mike got his? Yes, I know yeah, so he, yeah, so he's great. Right. So Mike now has to shift over to the hoisting, um, and meanwhile, study up on truck, truck okay. stuff. Yep, that's great. I'm meeting with both of them in the middle of this month, check, at the check-in. Great. Yeah, because I had extended their probationary period by another three months to give them time to oh, yeah. work on that. Well, I think, too, a lot of things are behind and just trying to get some of so. mm -hmm. It's hard to even get in the RMV. So, um... Make a motion that we accept and sign the PAEs presented by the town administrator. I will second that. Okay, any discussion about either one of them? No. Okay. Great. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Are we looking for somebody else now, or are we holding off on the 1870s? That was, that was well, I had a, I, I met with Lisa today, I'm meeting with her again tomorrow. Tomorrow's her, like, formal, her final day. She only has two, she has one, something coming up in September, and um, a so performance that's scheduled for October that she's actually going to try to get them to do outdoors. It's the, this, that concert thing. Yes. And um, so we <laughs> she hasn't really been bombarded by post, you know, by reservations. Uh, so I think this is an opportunity for us to think about next steps for that building. Um, and I have an idea uh, for the building that I just, I have to actually run it by, um, you know, run it by a few people first. But I think what we need is a more sustainable solution for that building. You know, right now it's essentially historical commission goes right. in there and meets. Yeah. Um, uh, COA uses it for yoga and tai chi, so those two groups are using it. Otherwise, it's not functional. Underutilized. Now. Yeah. Unfunctional now. I mean, is 
Well, it's functional, but functional, but yeah. nobody underutilized. Right. Yeah, it's been that way since. For, thank you. Been that way since COVID. You yeah. know, right. during the height yeah. of COVID, it was yeah. closed down. Now right. we did a lot before, correct? With that before. Well, it never yes really. No. Yeah, it never really was self-supporting. It hasn't been from the very get-go. So, um, yeah. So it's just, yeah. and it's, and it's gotten that far, much farther behind um, over this period of COVID. So we gotta, we gotta think about a plan. Okay. Okay. So right. I'm not, so, so I just. we're gonna hold off on Yeah, that I can kind of pick up what, I can kind of pick up what Lisa had left on the table, you know, what, what she had left on the table. Okay. And uh, we'll just take it from there. Okay, all right, good. It's crazy over here. <laughs> so we had the um, job description for the library page that was sent yep. to us yep. as a draft. Yep. Oh, um, this is the one that you had seen before, yeah. Yep. So yep. same one, and Bob Hodge does not have a problem with it. I've, um, if the personnel committee approved tonight, I penciled it in on the, you know, that's for you, I you have a seat at the table. <laughs> so um, Bob was fine with it. Um, okay. So if the personnel approves it tonight, I'll right. run it to the board for and approval. The the it is. Yeah. It's the HRS. Yeah. Right. It's HRS draft. So I, I read it. I didn't see anything out of no, the ordinary. It. it was very uh, functional. If you know, like empty the book drawer, process new materials, and prepare them to be shelved. Yeah. You know, it's very. Um, it's something that we need that takes the edge off all the other uh, folks that, uh, so I'd like to make a motion that we approve the uh, draft job description that we received. Second that. Okay, uh, any other discussion on that? Is the well, Margaret, were you fine with the uh, job description? Oh, yes. Okay. Yes, I am. Is the library fully open again? Yeah, I gave him his COVID supplies yesterday. Okay. Is this mostly, is he looking for a high school person, a retired person? No, this doesn't require... No, no, but I meant... That's what he's got in the past. Yeah, he's yeah. yeah, a high school. Yeah. All right. All right. Thank you. Um, hearing no other discussion, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, this is on for mm -hmm. That's all right. the 23rd. Um, and then there was a, uh, so that's done, um, the draft conservation agent posting. I need to, oh, good, yeah. thank you. Okay, so, Did they tweet uh, it? oh, I will, this time I will keep okay. talking to myself. Um, Amy okay. had done some research on hourly rates, and I know that the personnel committee had seen some, too, yeah. earlier. Um, Paxton. Paxton has a four hour a week conservation agent that is about $28.75 an hour. Okay. On the high side, Chillmark has one at $51.34 oh, an hour. Chillmark, that's where all the rich people are. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's see. <laughs> this is, I just want to look and see what else she's got here. Barnstable, conservation officer, about $24.23 an hour. Newberry Merrimack, twenty six to thirty one an hour. Well, twenty six oh five to thirty one twenty three an hour. Falmouth, twenty six eighty eight to thirty three ninety eight an hour. Natick, Natick, so oh, well, seventy to seventy five thousand dollars a year. That's a full time. Yeah, it is. It's full time. Look at some of these, like Upton, um, Hopkinton, Hopkinton's kind of high. Holliston, Norfolk. Agent Long East Long Meadow, twenty five dollars an hour. There's so, nothing close to us, Claire, in comparison to town size and. Um, Foxborough's too big. Yeah. Holliston's about our size. I would say maybe a little bit larger. It is uh, larger. Upton a little maybe a little bit larger. Upton's about our size. But Upton well, and Holliston are very similar in that they're the top, you know. 
the high 27s. Yeah. So like 27, 28. So I was thinking, um, in looking at this year's scale, a grade eight would run $25.40 up to 32.44. So it would be in that range. Yep. yep. So the question is, what, um, what step or what hourly rate would would the would we want to um, advertise at? And I can what's here, I'll share this with you below, if you don't have so it. So the grade yeah. eight. What's That's the next right. step below? So us. twenty-four or something. That would be that would be steps. That would be grade seven, and it's twenty-two forty-two to. 2863, so that's a little low. And at that point, you're getting into yeah. positions right. that don't aren't yep. expected to have technical yep. expertise. Yeah. Right. So if you look at if you look at the grade eight that Margaret mentioned, um, like right in the middle, if you will, is between 28 and 29 dollars. That's I don't know. Is that at 28 dollars an hour. The, the limits, the funding limits that the board set from mm -hmm. each of the funds yeah. would be able to cover okay. a, a rate like that. Yeah. Um, you know, something in the $30 range, I, I wouldn't want to, okay. you know, I, I just wouldn't want to. Was it eight? Eight. Eight a week-ish? Yeah, eight a week. Yeah. Now, at about, well, we got 10 months left. But what about three to four? Like steps three, three or four? Just to get, I mean, let's start them. Oh, this is this is the only issue I have. Is if are they gonna stick to that eight hours, or are they gonna do ten hours this month? So it could fluctuate, but they must add. Well, I mean, the expe expectation is that they're gonna average eight hours a week. And you know what? I, did, I didn't even put that. Uh, we're gonna have to add that to this. Average. I was just gonna say, yeah. Yeah, uh, I don't know where you wanna put it, but. Um, Maybe it's not going to go over that. Correct. Averaging eight hours a week. Break right up in the top part-time yep. position, averaging eight hours a week. Yeah, I agree. The only reason, this is the way I'm thinking, the only reason that I'm saying that, what if they do ten hours and they're going to do six hours next week? It's, it's quite possible. They're going to, the, the weeks that Conservation Commission meets is going to be a heavier week generally than right. the other right. weeks. So I think that they're probably going to have some flexibility yep. that so way. You do it eight hours average. Eight hour average. Averaging eight hours a week. Yep. I think okay. I, so that would go in the second line after part time position. I just don't want it to turn into eight hours, ten hours, ten hours, hours twelve hours. Twenty-seven, seventy-seven. I like but that number. If you do that that line, you can just you don't yeah. have to actually throw it out there. So it's a grade eight position. Grade eight. Grade eight. And then wait and see what you get. Four to five. Four or five. And you can even do a rate if you really want to. I mean, you can do a range. I'm sorry, if you really want it, you know. Good. Wait, we're gonna start at the lower side. Yeah, well, I mean, so the lower end of that rate. I thought four or five. Great. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm, I was looking at step five myself. Yeah. Step five, step six, around in there. So you could do a range then between twenty-seven seventy-seven to twenty-eight forty-one, something like that. Or did you want it to be a larger range? No, that looks good. Actually, that would be good if we just. Well, you know, maybe not even complicated. Pick a pick a number. It's a temporary position. If we did, if we're doing something, you know, permanent, I think we're going to be fortunate to have, <laughs> to have applicants. Um, seems like right, everyone is right. advertising so for conservation agents lately. Temporary until the budget of next year. Only until June thirtieth. That's it. Okay. Yep. Okay. Personnel's going to have to be working on. So like Holliston is twenty seven seventy two and Upton's twenty seven fifty nine. You want to try for the twenty seven seventy seven and then five. Five. Yeah, I want to go five. Okay. Five. <laughs> Grade eight. Plus we have to keep it so they don't start pushing their right. the amount that they have allotted. Right. If we go right. Okay. Until the conservation. All right. Our conservation commission um, stay within. The June will keep on the yeah. position of temporary. This is a non-benefited part-time position averaging eight hours a week starting immediately mm -hmm. through June 30, 2022 to serve as professional staff of the Conservation Commission and perform technical inspection work, including field visits, inspection of site work, uh, drafting of orders of conditions. Wow. This is an otherwise ensuring compliance with applicable 
federal, state, and local wetlands, stormwater management, erosion control, regulations, codes and bylaws, issuing findings and recommendations. <coughs> A Class D Massachusetts driver's license. Now, why would that be in the Class D license? Well, that's just a regular driver's license. Oh. So, yeah, it's a regular, so they can get from point A, okay. you know, they can oh, get around okay. to site visits. Yep. And, like, and have a working knowledge of principles and practices of land protection and management and governing. Yep. This is a grade eight position at a 27.77. Full job description is available here. I think that's excellent. Well, I just have one question. I have to put a link. Let me make sure the link is there. Yeah. I think we discussed this when they came to us. Who's in charge of the stormwater now? During highway? Conservation. They have always been? It's just under their jurisdiction. Mm -hmm. So when we do a road in town, they inspect it? Well, I don't know if they inspect it, but they assure that the proper barriers and everything is happening around the road work right. so you don't have storm water, you know, you don't have storm water runoff. You can hear their meetings. If there's a problem, if there's a complaint or water, that's okay. one of their topics of discussion. I just didn't know. Yeah. yeah. Most, wow. most is highway. It's a lot. Yeah, a lot of towns. Yeah. I just want to make sure of it. Oh, well, how would we do the actual infrastructure piece? So as far as the well, that's what I'm saying. Culverts, yeah. storm drains, culverts, storm, storm drains, yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. They're yeah. just going to walk. Grade eight position. Uh, quote unquote. So I don't know. I don't know. If I, I want to be all the way to the rate. Okay, I agree, but. Uh, do you want to put the hourly rate into the um, the ad, or would you rather put a range? Um, What's the difference? I'm fine either way. What I well, you know what happens sometimes if you if you just put the grade and you don't put a rate, um, people will say you know right. They want the highest part of it. Right. If they want the highest part of it, or they're not you know they're not offering a rate. I'm not okay, even going to bother. I'd, or I'd recommend that we put the element rate in there. Just see, seven, yeah, seven, seven. yeah, see where we go with that. Okay. Um, so looking at it, it really certainly includes everything. That would scare anybody. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's a lot. It really is. I had my first. I had my first dealings with conservation commission as an applicant for something this week. Quite by surprise, because of this parking lot project. Yeah. That's going to be starting on the twenty third. Yeah. And so, <laughs> yes, that was scrambling. I thought I'd have to. I'd, I thought I'd have to um, submit a notice of intent. The abbreviated notice of intent, which is a DEP form, yeah. is 15 pages. Oh abbreviated. God. The full notice of intent, I have no idea how many pages. Fortunately, I'm doing a request for determination of applicability. So uh, hopefully, yeah. that yeah. will go through. But boy, okay. it is uh, so, it's something. Um, I think it looks great. So I'd like to make a motion that we approve this job, job posting as revised by the committee. Um, uh, I will second that. Okay. Like that. Any that other discussion about that? If none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 And are you going to add that to the classification? Do you want a temporary I'm, thing added to the Or no, where it's temporary. Well, I made a note of it here. Um, okay. And we, you know, if, if the time comes that it becomes a permanent position, we yep. can, okay. you know, can probably stay right on that state right. and conserve it. So other those would be uh, conservation agent. Yeah, it has to be a full thing at town meeting for us. Mike? Oh, I'm sorry, what you Would that have to be all new at town meeting? If they come in next year, I mean, under the budget thing, we'd have to... It would have to be a budget approval. Yeah, no, it means on changing. On changing. To add a name. A name. Mm -hmm. Oh, this? No. Okay. No, this is personnel committee. Okay. All right, so we've done all those. Um, the next
next item of business is the town administrator information. And you had sent us some things that you we, we should probably talk about at this meeting. Yeah. Uh, the first, a couple of things, a few things that have to do with the highway. So yeah. um, the first one was the highway seasonal winter drivers, yeah. or did you want to go to something else first? No, no, these are fine. I've, I've made, um, I've done job ads for both a Class D and a Class B. 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 So, um, I think what, I think Tom would like to talk about rates given the market right now. Yeah, okay. <laughs> he knows better than I, but um, last year we posted a seasonal driver labor position at 1759 to 1965 an hour. Yeah. And that's still shown on this draft job ad. Um, the Class B CDL had been, um, I think it was 21 something an hour. Yeah. Yes. It was 21 something an hour. And I, I removed it because of the, um, the change in um, the FY22 rate. What was it? It was a 20. I think it's 21.42 an hour, maybe? June, Class was it B. this one? The Class B. I think so. Okay. Because the other one was 9.20. 19. The other one was a 5. It was up here. That was it right there. This is a Class B. So, the, so yeah. the Class B would have been. Okay. This is a Class B. All right. So last year, the Class B was at 21, well, the, tw the FY21 version of... 21.42 an hour. It would have been a grade six, step four. So the grade six, step four is the 21.42. Mm -hmm. And that's the class B in the class D last year. Uh, was 1759 to 1965 an hour this year that would shift to 1790 is it is it uh, grade five yeah grade five yep yeah. and it was so this year would be 1794 to 2004 I think it's 2004 yes Class D. Yeah. Okay. So, a little bit low. Well, yeah. Yes, for both, basically. But I think we can get away with the D, but the B, you're going to have to go. Anywhere between 24 to 28 an hour. For the B? Yes. Depending on experience. Is that a different level? Well, the, the six would bring you up to 2559. Okay. Right. What, what if you drop it down one more? 25. You'd be on the next grade. Yeah. What, what does that grade bring you up to when I go to high point? 2559. Is that where we have the D for the highway? Yes. No, D for highway is 2290 for a class D. Okay, that's what, that, to me, 23, 22 or 9, 22 bucks an hour for a D, if, uh, one time. You can push them up, uh, otherwise you're going to have to go up another grade on the B. It's going to have to be a higher number mm. on both. What's the next grade and stuff? So a, a seven is a range from twenty two forty two to twenty eight sixty three. That's a big difference. Mm -hmm. Remember at the meeting we said it's gonna have to be. Here, you guys, you guys look at this. Go ahead. Okay. Where's the one? So um, currently under grade seven is the driver with Class B license. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, on, currently under grade seven, 
yeah. is driver with Class B license. So that's for a full-time person. Under seven? Yeah, under grade seven. Or full-time. Full-time. Oh, that's for full-time. Okay. It's, it's not, only going to be It's not for season. For okay. So. Right, right. So I wonder if we ju should just sort of put it in. Move with it into seven? Yeah. And yeah, what's the range in seven? The range for, in seven is 2242 to a max of 2863. More than the range Tom was talking. Right. And that's for the B, right? B. Yeah. But you're going to have to, drive over unfortunately, you're going to have to start at the higher end, not at the 22 to the B. Well, we, we could start in the middle, like we're doing with the other one. 2506. Can you start at 5? Yeah. 2506. What step is that, Tom? That's step 6. 6. Okay. 2506? To 2801 or 63, whichever one you guys want to play. Because if a guy's in the hot flower of class B and salt, he's worth more money. That has done it in his town. So this one would be a range depending on qualifications and experience. Correct. Okay. Experience. Yeah. And even Jim said the same thing. What's the highest step there, Tom? What's the highest? Uh, 2863. 2863. Okay. Because you're only going to get, you might get 20 hours this week, you might get no hours for three weeks. Right. But the guy's available. Right. That's the thing. Yeah. Yeah. The ones that we have now, I don't know what they're, do you know what they are? It's Tom and Dave, right? The highest one is the 2142. They should be moved up. Well, one has a hydraulic and one has a B. One is 19, no, 2004, and one is 2142. That's kind of a dilemma, huh? Same license. Are they seasonal? Yes. Yeah. Okay. The guys that just come in and plow. But right. Yeah. Right. So and I think, and both of them really came through last year. Correct. I think we'd put them all at the same. What? Yeah. Twenty. You it's, should all put them at the lower. Mm -hmm. The the ones that we have now. Twenty-five oh six. Oh six. Give them a boost to keep them. Mm -hmm. That would make me stay. Okay. Um. Because it's already, it's not, but, well, it is budgeted, but it isn't. It's because that could be overrun. That's the only budget that could overrun. So you always have money for snowfall. Am I right? You do? Yep, you do. So Last year we didn't even come close to, to yeah. uh, fully expending that But you never know. Oh, yeah. It just takes a really good winter. So. Oh, yeah. Well, ice storms. You can and use them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can always use them. Um, I think then the, 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 the you as the payroll, uh, payroll person, and Margaret can ask, do you agree with them? To make it fair, because how long have they been here? No, they've been at five years. They should all be the same. Yeah, yeah everybody should been here. have somebody yeah. come in and I agree. Make yeah. more. Make more than someone who's been here and has helped out, like Margaret said, they were there last year right. when they were needed. Right. And they were there, they've been here five years. Probably they've been doing it. And what, what about the seasonal driver laborer, the class D? Does that? Well, that one is probably going to have to be utilized less if our two guys right. are able to use the small right. trucks Correct. to plow. Right. They um, should be in. To start, this is my uh, personal opinion. You can take it at 2340 up to 2559. Because they're two separate jobs, correct? Right. And it's a, you're, you're on the grade five, Tom? Yes. I, I think, yeah, well, it doesn't even go up that high. So, yeah. So you, you can't do. So the guys coming in for seasonal 
driver laborer would be paid more than our full-time guys? Yes. No. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm. Mm -hmm. Except our full-time guys would get overtime. That's the, that's, right. yeah. Well, right. this is what I'm saying. They they're on overtime. But the class D, what do we have on that? 19 is the high? Yeah, 19. 2004. 2004. Which is the same step six that the group is on in the now class, in the class B. Uh, you can't do that. You can't pay them as much, but you also need them. You can't start them. Here. Right, so one's at 2004 and one's at 2506. So, see the step. Um, you want to keep them in the One's same a grade, grade. Five, grade five, step six. One's a grade eight, step six. I get you. you want because to... of the difference in the licensing. Yes. But, and you want to keep them on the same grade, correct? Same step, you mean? Same step. I'm yeah. To... It just makes it easier to, you know. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I, I, I'll and agree with we, that. If we find that down the road that we need to... I was wrong. The um, lower speed right now is 20.04 and the highest is 22.42. Okay, so we can do that. So we can do the 22.40. So we can do the, the 20.04, right? Do you think that's too low for the lower one? So we've got... I don't think so. The, for the class D, 20, the lower one, 20.04, and then the class B, 2506. Well, we had it. The only reason why I'm saying this is because at our discussion was if the two new kids do not get their license, that's two traps. There. Yes. So you're going to have to hire an extra B guy. So you might have to hire two B guys. We won't know for an, uh, another, but we've got to put this in the plan just in case one of them does. Right. So they gotta get their license. That's the problem. Because they only got uh, what did Jim say? We got three small trucks. Oh, I thought we had two. We small had trucks. four, four big ones. Mm -hmm. Was it two or three? Oh, they could use a service truck if they had. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So that's. But if you want to attract somebody to drive, that's why like Tivo, he was good. They get in the small truck. So, if, if anybody, if you guys think that that's too low, I, I just, I was trying to keep can it. Can we move it? We can move it up to the next grade. What's the next it, grade? Grade six, <clears throat> and it would be, but it'd be 22, uh, 38. And we want to be careful on how we treat the folks that are working. Full time. So, full time. so, so yeah, yeah, so grade six would be a CDLB driver. Okay. So, um, so I don't want to move it. heavy equipment operator, driver, laborer. That's yeah. So the two that are in the process of getting their licensing would be reclassified to a six if yeah. they did get both. Yes. So so keep it at five. I think even yeah. Yeah. Five, five for for now. Yeah. I, I mean, you want to attract somebody that got yeah. right off. Um and let me see what we got here. Twenty oh four. Yep. You could try 2004. Um, you could try 2004 yep. to, you could even do a small range here, 2004 to 2143, depending on qualifications yep. and experience. Yeah, okay. okay. Yeah. That sounds good. That gives us a little, little, little no, room, no room to move. I don't want to put us in a position. And now, where what's can't. the range in the B? Uh, what you had, we said 25. Today, it yeah. was 2506. 2506 to 2863. Correct. Okay. I, I'm fine with that because you want to attract somebody that will plow. Okay, so I'm going to be putting, um, I'm going to be adding the language depending on qualifications and experience to those okay. because it's got a range. Uh, uh, let me tell you, I've seen signs up already looking for seasonal. Well, I'll drive this some downs. Yeah, we got to get this up. Yeah. Okay, good. All right, so depending upon experience and qualifications. Correct. We 
do not have a, a good, accurate job description for a winter driver laborer. So. Because it is on the private sector, we're guys get between 30 yeah. and 40. We're going to have to use this one for now and yeah. make do until. Why do you think I plow? Well, that's not true. We're not going to use this one because we did the new one. We did the new one for Mike and Dylan. So we, we, this is last year's. So uh, we'll use we'll use the one that's that's current. But I think at your next meeting, you know, if I can get a couple of samples of just winter driver labor job descriptions, we could you know could use those. All right, so we reviewed the seasonal plow operator, truck driver, class B, and, and class D. Yeah. Um, given both of those draft ads at the moment, until we have a chance, we haven't done the job description, we will the next meeting. Make a motion that the ads be accepted with the changes that were discussed. That Margaret uh, is going to yep. do for us. Okay, great. <laughs> I was we'll do that. it. We'll do it. Okay. Oh, we got three jobs to post now. Woo I'll second that. Or did you already second I second it. Okay. Any other discussion? No. Okay. Yeah, I, I think okay. that's fair. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. When will that go out, Margaret? Tomorrow. We'll post it tomorrow. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> no, because they're already looking. Oh, yeah. Guys are looking. Yeah. I know where I am in August. Yeah. So there's a couple other items here that are a few other items that you had talked about. Um, uh, additional permanent uh, full time highway, uh, permanent full time or part time highway administrative support. Um, Additional permanent, uh, oh, the foreman's request for additional compensation. So, I so as you know, we've given him a step, um, and um, uh, Jim has gotten a step, Fred has gotten a grade step, temporary increase just till August yep. 31st. So um, Jim has asked for additional compensation um, for him filling in. And rather than, rather than shift the steps and grades more, I think that um, if the, I, I want the personnel committee to discuss this because yeah. I think that it would be more appropriate to provide a stipend, a flat stipend that wouldn't be added to base pay for overtime purposes. Um, yeah. Yeah. And, you know, it just give him a stipend recognizing that mm -hmm. he is leading the department right now. And, and he's, he's doing a good job, and he's, <laughs> he's found out about juggling the contractors already. That came quick. Right. So, right. Um, so I was thinking, when we look at his grade, and I'll share this with you, when we look at his grade, the difference between, he's right now, he's at 30, 33.17. Okay, yeah. So if we look at the difference between that hourly rate and the top, and we subtract them, it would come to about $100 a week. Well, it's, it's about $123 a week stipend is what it would come to. That's the difference in the hourly rates based on a 40-hour work week. So, um, I, I I want to um, you know I don't want him to get discouraged because right, we, we right. do have a gap. Yeah. Um, I want to recognize the fact that he's he's stepping up um, and, and he's continuing to do so. One step for him amounts to amounts to twenty dollars a week. That's really the difference. Right. There's a whole lot more work. Right. Right. On him. Yeah. So. Uh, that's why I kind of thought, you know, a hundred dollars a week as a stipend, or you know, something between maybe sixty and a hundred dollars a week. To, I mean, uh, okay. again, it's a flat, it's a flat stipend, and um, would he be happy with a hundred dollars a week? I feel like he'd be more happy with a hundred dollars a week than twenty dollars a week. Right. Right. No, I, mean, <laughs> I, mean, I think. $100 a week for the extra that he yeah. is taking on. Mm -hmm. 
That's mm -hmm. as a stipend, but that mm -hmm. that will not effect because winter's coming. Mm -hmm. If we don't get somebody that's um, above his and beyond his forty hours. That's correct. It's a stipend. It's a flat stipend. dollar stipend. Flat, flat fee. Overtime in that. No stipend. overtime I in that. Okay, I get that. Uh, I but he'd still fair. be he'd still be paid overtime at whatever yes. rate he's currently that's at. That's fine. He deserves it. Because, like we discussed that, and uh, you guys weren't there, um, when they, we bumped them up as a temporary thing, they were pretty damn, pretty close to pay. Mm -hmm. What? They were close to pay, and one was in charge, correct? Well, they're equal now. Equal now. And, yeah, they're equal now. That's why the stipend and, should go and in. And they are working together, you know. Very wonderful, but Jim. Is mostly he's the person like yeah. I would take the Fred contact. Still, be, still got that extra step. He does. Okay, yes. I just want to make sure that he's also. Fred's he's taking care of. Yeah. You can't. He's he's all. They're both all set till August thirty first. At yes. the moment, we'll have to come back and we'll have to come back and do something, you know, after yeah. um, to extend a, the period or, or what have you. But this stipend would be above and beyond. All right. He is working above and beyond. Oh, absolutely. Yes. Yeah. But well, you can't that's definitely. That it's, a stipend ain't going to hurt, and it makes Jim feel better. Because you can't put him at the same rate now. Right. You can't do it. Well, I make a motion that we get Jim a stipend. Yep. And I don't know if you want to put a time, do we put a time limit on it? Or do we just well, say. Well, we'll have to come back at the end of August, September, right? You don't have to come back at the end of August anyway. Um, where are we at today? 11th? Yeah. You want it's a to short sit? period it's of short time. Period. It's, it's got to yeah. go at least until the end. Right. I mean, I hate September. to keep coming back. You know, might as well just try you to want to do it until the end of September? Let's October? Do it. Or until the new job is filled. Until, Can you yeah. say that it's until the job is filled? Yeah. I, I think okay. that we should I think that we should do that. Well, we can note that on the personnel action form. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 No, then I would make a motion and I'll add to my motion that until the position of superintendent is filled. I will second that. Okay. We'll have a discussion about it. Do you um, board members feel that's comfortable? Yes. Well okay. I, I think yeah. 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 And all for so, the highway department right now. Because uh, we, we, we got to do, yeah, we have to do something. Something, yeah. yeah. So, in um, not hearing any other further discussion, all those in favor? Uh, aye. Aye. Okay. All right, I will get up. So, June, um, I want to get this moving quickly. I mean, we have the approval of the personnel committee now. Um, we're going to need their sign-offs, we're going to need their official sign-off, but I don't want to hold off too long on doing the stipend, so, um, can we get it, can we get it going on the next payroll, or do you have to wait until minutes from this um, meeting are ready? Well, I would need something in writing. That would be my only thing to... Okay. I mean, unless we wanted to do it, and I don't know if you guys... Can I could go down and do a personal action form right now. I can take a break. Yeah. Yeah. Let me do that. I was gonna, and that way, there, then we can get it signed and approved. I'll see you a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back. Was there anything else that you wanted us to talk about while you're? Oh, uh, were you gonna? Did you uh, decide on a, on the actual rate? Is is that what you're gonna do, or were you gonna offer me three hundred? No, a hundred. Hundred. A flat hundred. That's what they. That's what was voted. So, okay. highway superintendent. Mm -hmm. I mean, Highway Superintendent Facilities Director position. I don't know, Tom, you want to you wanna speak to that? Oh, June and Tom, you were both there. Um, very, very, we had no resumes. Uh, no, 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 no. Um, we have to figure out what we're going to do. I'd like to have a, you know, a joint meeting between the board and the personnel committee to determine next steps. Um, and uh, we run into problems because a lot of towns are looking for oh, them right now. Right. No, they are. West Boylston I, is. I saw. Did you see that? West Boylston yeah. is. Are they? Wait a minute. I thought they just. Oh, so the other person didn't. Oh. Right. West Boylston's looking. All right. I'm going to go through the personal action form and I'll be right back. Um, so there was a 
another mention of, I don't know if maybe my books discussed it with some of you, um, of um, permanent part-time highway admin support. Oh. Yeah. I totally support that. I support I, that. I do too. I just, I didn't know if there was something in the school for thought. Shared highway superintendent position with foreman for a foreman for facilities, foreman for highways stationed in this town with a shared position with another town? I'm just thinking. Yeah. I'm trying to think. I'm yeah. How to change, change what we're requesting for the highways. Oh. I, I don't know. It's a lot of writing and figuring out. They got out. hard time to that one. Yeah, I know that she had. Right. Not for highways. No. No, maybe more with the uh, municipal building or. Not like that. Mm -mm, not highway. Highway is too. It's too much not the highway. No. Highway, no. So were other steps discussed in the, um, 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 the highway superintendent? Well, the problem right now is they're only going after the big ones. You know what I mean, big uh, Nobody's applying for <laughs> smaller towns. Um, well, we had we had people that applied. It was just nobody's nobody is fitting the qualifications. Cool. Or qualifications of it. You need to get highway. Or you got a facility. Or facilities, but nobody's really mm -hmm. wants to do both. And very few want to do any type of admin. And very few want to be working. And then you have those that want to work in work. Which I get, as, a, as I'm telling you guys, as a board member, um, both of my one. He's a paper guy. He's a paper guy that all he does is paperwork, but they get grants and money and stuff. And that's the problem. If you get somebody that knows how to do this stuff and help, then your form, your uh, superintendent can go out and help the guys. Right. As Jim and Fred are finding out, there's a lot of paperwork involved in this job. Yes. Um, so it's very difficult. Well, I think we've discussed that before at this committee, even that that having an admin, that's why that piece is so important because once you get a good admin in there and they they get they know what paperwork needs to be to done, be done. Mm -hmm. the minute the person walks in, they can have a, you know, I just, I, you know, like June needs I've things seen that time. smoothness run in different um, administrative level positions because they've got the right person working there that can just automatically see these things coming and be prepared and have everything prepared for the administrator. How's Amy finding it? Is she finding that things are in order no there or is she? She's temporarily over there helping. And then she is, um, she actually deals mostly with Freddie as far as the actual paperwork goes, as far as like bills and payroll and actually is pretty good at But is she finding that it is somewhat organized? She's not going into total chaos. That's no. what I want to know. No, no, it was it was left pretty okay. organized. It oh, wasn't good. a yeah, no, good. it wasn't um, yep. chaos. It was definitely I think order. Keith and Dave did a pretty good job for what they had. Yeah, I mean it was just there's a lot of additional stuff like Jimmy spent a lot of time trying to um, you know get the people together for the elevator project and, and it he didn't realize that it consisted of so much time. A whole day wasted phone calls, making errands, you know, that type of stuff. So it's it's good because they're both seeing that there is more paperwork, there is more stuff right. in the office that has to be done than what was, but... Um. Uh, me personally, um, I think that's important now before you get a supervisor because if that help these two guys out temporarily. Right. Um, to me, the money is there, I believe, right, June? Um, there's some this year, yes. Yes. I think the staffing just has to be <coughs> really discussed with the highway. I mean, Margaret sent us the documentation to show right, that right. the department has not changed in 20 years. Right, and we've, and we've added roads in this town. Added yeah. roads. Your fire and police have all grown. Yep. And buildings, too. And buildings. Buildings have grown. Yep. And that's great. I'm glad they have a great fire and police, but they can't get to those calls if we don't have a great highway department. Right. Well, the road to get right. there. Um, as a committee member, I think 
that it would help because the last interview guy asked, the two of them, three of them asked when I was on the interview, oh, I don't have a secretary? No. Mm -hmm. I don't have anybody to help? No. A foreman? No idea. Yeah. So, I, me personally, maybe I'm wrong, but I think that position is important now also. Yeah, the administrative support, absolutely. It, it, and had Margaret mentioned anything about where we we get funding for it, just from the the uh, vacancy, the current vacancy? Is that what we're thinking? Well, or? right now, I mean, they have money just because there was a vacancy um, for a little while where they were shorthanded. So, I mean, yeah. there's, there's some money there. Um, How long would we have on the actual, say, 20 hours a week? Do you know off the top of your what, you, what did you ask? I'm sorry. What did you just How ask? much would we add if we had somebody for 10, 20 hours a week for them? Would it go to the end of the budget? I don't know. I'd have to. That's something that we got. You're not going to hire somebody for two months. That's, right. That's right. the issue, too. But I think right now, too, it's a matter of trying to figure out, okay, how many hours are you really going to need somebody? What are you going to have them do? Right, right. Um, yep. you know, would you be revamping things and make it so you do have one of the guys more highway foreman versus one maybe being in charge of the maintenance? But you could still or? both utilize them, utilize them, but you're talking a minimum 10 hours a week. Minimum. Is there any chance in um, I know Amy, especially, is only there temporarily, but is there any um, opportunity there for her to be able to write down all the things that are that occur there oh, that yeah, a probably. person would be doing? Um, you know, because she's going to be coming back to the accounting department, and at least we'd have some... some yeah, because, I mean, before Amy was there, we actually had a, a senior work off person that was in there. Oh, On oh. a regular basis with oh. Dave. Okay, so... So that probably helps, But did too. they ever write down, like, all of the job or anything like that? And um, all the things that needed to be done? I or? don't know if they had anything in writing. I don't know that. Okay. I would have to check with Amy, but, I mean, it should, she should be able to do that. I know, like... Even just a quick little list <coughs> of tasks so that we could develop a job description would be wonderful. Right. Well, yeah. Dave was doing a lot of phone calls. Um, when he was here, or he, he, they're out on the road, they got an emergency call, it's got to come down here. And that's something that can, you know, so that puts him, uh, that person behind. That's where, at least if you got somebody there. But how many hours would we actually have to have? Like you said. Well, we don't know unless, until we know I think it's what the job consists of. And, and you know, um, you'd hate to put somebody over there that's going to. You know, do nothing to twiddle their thumbs, but unless we know what what it is that they're doing, um, and I mean, Amy can very well yeah, because like right now I think Amy goes over twice a week. Okay. So she goes over Monday mornings. Yeah. Um, and then goes over I think on Wednesdays or Thursdays to sit with them to do the expenses and okay. the other odds and ends. Monday's payroll. So. Okay, so payroll. But does she come back here and help you with the payroll? Oh yeah. Oh okay. yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to say. Oh, my God. But there's, there's probably more that Amy could be doing. I mean, right now it isn't too bad because it's not winter. Yeah. Right. So it's not that bad. It's basically the same every single week for the payroll. And I have to say, Fred's got it usually up and running Good. and it's set to go. Beautiful. Um, he didn't last this past week just because it was a computer glitch. Yeah. So it was a matter of then they had to spend time trying to get that fixed. Wow. Okay. So it's little things like, I mean, it's good because they're seeing yeah. it, but. But uh, if, if, if it's possible that we could get, get between Amy and the senior work off person that worked there a list of all the tasks, you know, yep. answer the phone, um, put together these requisitions on a regular basis for, I don't know. Does, who, who, who does, did Dave do any Chapter 90 money, or was that you, Margaret? What is that? Anything on the highway, did you apply for a Chapter 90 money, or any roadway? No, that was you? always the highway super. That's what I thought. So that, that. Clear, ma'am? 
borrow your black pen for a moment? Oh, sure. I have a red pen. I oh no, I have a blue pen. It's fine. Thank you. So that that's why I'm saying we it, the author. There's I know we need a better job description. But you're looking at. Well, we can't even place an ad until. No, we, I know that. Yeah, but Amy's doing four hours now, so we're probably looking. Five. She's doing five. Five. Probably. So we're probably yeah, ten. Five, ten. Probably ten will is ten. Fifteen. Five. Yeah. I mean, it would probably depend on the week too. Yes. I mean, if it's a holiday week, then you're you're busy the following day, right? The what? If it's a holiday week. Or, we do it earlier. Oh, do you? Okay. I didn't know. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, we actually try to take a holiday. We uh -huh. actually try to take the day off. <laughs> I meant like the day after the holiday. We try, week. but. <laughs> You always find something. Let's see. The mine is kind of like where it's Waldo. <laughs> find it, find it. You get the white out. <laughs> you bring the white out. And so when we were talking about Margaret, it's the, um, the, the thought of or consideration of, uh, uh, of either a temporary or permanent part-time admin for Highway. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, where do we go with that? Do we? Um, we don't even have a list of the duties or anything like yeah. that 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 person does. So I suggested that if um, possible, mm -hmm. if Amy we'll and them off. oh, that's longevity. That's a longevity we'll stipend. stipend or stipend. Okay. Um, and uh, effective date. I was gonna put effective date, and then I was like, is that gonna confuse the issue? But I'll do it up here. Uh, okay, sorry about that. So that that. The work off person and Amy could possibly give us a list of what some of the duties are so that we can, you know, figure out what hours right. and job description. Job right. Description. And we can use a comparable a comparable job description. So we have I think we have It's an assessor's clerk. Yep, there's an assessor's clerk, there's a land use clerk, a water health, health clerk, superintendent clerk. If it looks good to you. <laughs> Would we have to come up with a new one like superintendent clerk? Um, yeah, but we can. So we have templates that we can start with, and then we'll just have to customize. So Amy would have some insight as to. But I would imagine that that position would help alleviate some of the phone calls and yes. um, oh, yeah. coordination with contractors and you know lining them up. That right hey, now I, is on. I called them. I set this up. Here's your appointment with the guy. Because what if they're on the road on an emergency? Exactly. They got to call. You can't answer your phone. Something yeah. depends on what you're doing. I'm fine with that. Yep. Good. Good. Um, uh, things like that. But like uh, June said, Amy's there five hours a week. You okay. gotta, you gotta have a, a set plan of like Claire said, yeah. ten to fifteen hours a week minimum to start. You think that's a lot? No, I think that's reasonable. Because okay. I, I mean, I'm sure that because like right now the guys aren't doing everything. No. So. They can't. Um, so there isn't. You can't really come up with a complete list because, right. like you just yep. said, chapter ninety money. So when they start to do any road projects, it's going to be helping with you know, right. the you paperwork with that files out. with math. Yeah. Figure out your budget. If we were going to be doing a project in town, like if they were to be doing like the parking lot or something in the center of town, then there would be additional work there, possibly as far as you know, setting up gates or mm -hmm. yep. Yep. you know, even budget time. Yep. You know, Site visits, with budgets, and. But if she, like Claire so said, we, we got to get a better insight. Yeah. They also have driveway entry permits. They have. Yes. I, I believe, trench permits? I think he's one yes, of the trench, trench. permits. I was going to say, they they have, house, there was some kind of a house thing that, because I know that the driveway came through. Yeah. Oh, road there. opening permits? Road opening. They have street sign request forms now. Um, so there's a number of permits and things like that. That's yeah, right. So, I, I would rather, me personally, I think it's going to be more of a 20 hour job. 19. Oh. I, I do think, I, I think 12 is reasonable Sorry. to start. I, I really do. I think 12 is reasonable to start. And, um, you know, and then if you find that. 12 to 15. 
A day, a five day a week, or four day a week? Four and four. Well, I would, it, I mean, it could be three, or four, 12 hours, it could, could be three be or two, four, it could be two. Yeah. Just yeah. On whatever. yeah. Uh, they'd be doing the payroll and bills like Amy's doing now, too, purchasing. Yeah, so, I, I, I do think, I do think 12 is a good start. Um, and that kind of ties into this other, oh, where did I put it? That kind of ties in with um, the need of multiple committees to have clerical support yes, too. I did see that. Yep. Okay. Was there any like um, a a request brought to the group on having clerical? Or is it just some thoughts that you have in terms of conservation, land use, um, ZBA, finance, finance? Yep. Any other groups that EDC had asked? Oh, what's that one? Jeff? EDC Economic yeah. Development. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Planning. Planning. Oh, that's a big one. Yep. Oh, and I don't know what they're doing. Planning, probably, of course, Eloise could speak to this. Eloise has been so good about volunteering for planning, doing their yeah. minutes for so long. But they also have, they are a department that has like daily requirements, similar to Conservation Commission. They have land use issues. They have files that need to be pulled. You know, if anybody's yeah. looking for a file. More questions, too, on housing. More, More questions housing. on housing. The CPA, too, we're going to also have. That's right, a job description will have to be done. Now they have a funding source they too, do. which is good, but but they, uh, they're another. But again, it's one of those where could you get one person or two people in to do shared type thing? I, I see a lot of advertisements lately for recording secretary services. So people okay. are actually using recording secretary services, comes with a little more of a a price, but then again, you're not, you know, you're not having to cover them for workers' comp and things like right. that. And it's also a little easier now because of the virtual meetings. You know, That's those recording right. secretaries can look, watch videos, yeah, and and actually take minutes from those. But um, I saw a, I saw an ad for a recording secretary yesterday. One hundred and fifty dollars a meeting. Yeah. Oh, oh that's a pretty word. good. Yeah, that's pretty say, good. I remember what yeah. the school the school used to pay somebody to come in just to do their minutes. I don't remember how much it was now off the top of my head. Yeah. Wow. So they're yeah, yeah. Do a couple of dollars a week, not a bad gig, yeah. That's what I thought I was like, but I was like, like oh, geez. How do you like Jeez. that? But anyway, yeah, that's I thought that was a little bit on the high side, but it, it's also gonna depend on the length of the meeting. You know, they right. might have to sit through it and yeah. a three or four hour <laughs> meeting. <laughs> you know, and have yeah. to do the minutes there. Yeah. So I have seen ads with the, a flat payment to do this. Right. So I, I think it's a great uh, idea, but uh, the funding and what are the next steps for these two clerical positions are you thinking, Margaret? Well, uh, it would be wonderful to combine the positions. The problem is when you hit the 20-hour threshold, you're, you're starting in on benefits. Right. So and we might have to look at them you know, separately. If we have a recording secretary who could do, who could cover a couple of committees, yeah, you know, and, um, and keep with keep under that twenty-hour a week threshold, then we wouldn't get into that kind of benefit zone. So, um, uh, highway, highway. If it's like twelve hours a week, you might be yeah. able to add, uh, give them. You know, charge of of one committee doing some minutes for for one committee, and that would keep them under twenty hours a week. Mm -hmm. You know, so I think there are creative ways to look at it. Um, with the staff that we have here, that's not possible because it. it well, I shouldn't say that. Um, if they're at, we have very few staff that are. Um, you know, we have a board of health clerk who comes in one day a week. You right. know, so maybe right. I mean, if, if that position was able to take on more hours, now wouldn't that be uh, wouldn't that be a great 
I was going to say marriage, wouldn't that be a great connection having, you know, if the town is going to be looking at um, supervision of the transfer station by the highway department in the future, right. to have a, uh, a board of health clerk or someone who takes board of health minutes who actually works in the highway department right. and have that connection there, that would, yeah. be, like, yeah. that would be ideal, something right. like that. Right. That actually might be able to expand the board of health person. That's, oh, that's true. Yes. Um, but also, we might be able to work something out too, depending on what our thoughts are with um, 1872. Yeah. If it was just a matter of having that's true money to book or that's true. If someone, yeah, if you could have kind of an admin support person who was charged with taking books into <coughs> the 1870. The problem is you don't have a physical person there opening the building for functions and. Right. Right. You know, and supervising the day to day of the building. So where does that phone go now if somebody calls us here? Or to the eighteen seventy, now that we don't have anybody. Is there we're gonna to have to take calls here. I was just thinking about I um you said that. I'm very <laughs> hesitant about taking new reservations right now at this point. Right. <laughs> don't know what's going on given, yeah. given everything that's going on. But um yeah, it's gonna fall on us. What um do we have any Senior work also is that done? No, we have, yeah, we have. That's fine, but it's only temporary too, because once you hit that threshold, yeah. then it's. Mm -hmm. Right. They're only supposed to be doing temporary work. Temporary work, it's not supposed to be projects. It's not so, supposed to take yeah. away. Yeah, yeah so I, I meant, but it's, okay. it's a temporary thing for now. Mm -hmm. I have a. Can you utilize them differently, or some people are only set on one thing? I'm just. China. Oh no! No, I think we're, we're a small town. We well, need to cross train. We need to have flexibility. Well, that's what I'm saying. I mean, just can we take if there's all done here instead of doing nothing for two hours? You know what I mean? Or they got a couple extra hours. Hey, let's use them over here. Yeah, but they're either or, not both. Okay. You can't use them that way. Okay. Well, I'm sorry. no, we're trying not to do that whole. It's for a temporary. Yeah, and I want to try to make sure that they remain in the same pay class, you know, the same pay, yeah, yeah. pay grade and step, so as not to complicate, you know, rates of pay. There I was thinking again, huh? No, oh, no, it's good. <laughs> but no, because a lot of these, I think it's, it's a permanent thing, like, you know, highway, they're going to need somebody right. at least five hours a week. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. No, 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 I, I get going it. Going forward, not like only, okay, well, in, you know, November. They're all maxed out, so now you don't have anybody. So how do we want to move forward with these in terms of the funding and the next steps for, you know, these possible admin positions? So, because we want to try and do that. If we so can, it's going to, this especially is going to, for the highway. Yeah. So this is going to require recommendations from the personnel committee, okay. and the funding itself is going. The personnel committee can certainly make a recommendation on, you know, pay rate. You know, what you want as a pay range um, and then that's going to come out in the budget process so the budget request will have to reflect you know the amount of money that um, personnel so committee is recommending for the and new year for the new year yeah right for, for just, right now um, right now everything is temporary I, I right and it's so hard right now because advertising I know. nobody wants to work <laughs> well, I don't yeah, have to. She's been looking for a job for a year. She September. needs to go on the MMA website. She's, <laughs> <laughs> she's changed her resume, her. so she's not as good as she is. <laughs> That's what she's been doing. Well, I certainly see it falling into the, the same, you know, she's interested in the assessor's clerk. That starts at 1794 and goes to 2290. Um, I don't think it should go up to accountant clerk. No. Um, because they're not doing specialized work or anything. So I'm, I'm thinking more along the lines of the grade five that the assessor's clerk in. Uh, Board of Health Clerk are currently doing something along that line. Are we going to do a range or just say set, do that range, 17? No, I think we do a range based on their okay. experience to see, yeah. you know, where they fall and, and what they're looking for. Um, mm -hmm. But we got a little room to move there between 
of that job, granted it's to, to provide administrative support and facilitate the, the uh, office functions of the highway department, but at the same time, you know, what are some of the other little things that we can put into a job description for them so that we can get a job description done? Assign, and them, a, assign them a committee to take minutes for. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Right. Something that's uh, somewhat connected to what right. they're... I was... <laughs> <laughs> I think we're on the right track. I do too. It's a good start. So how do we want to do this moving forward? Do you think... Um, could you mention that to Amy for us, June? Would that Absolutely. Be yeah, I think if we get a little better feedback, like you said, Claire, we can then we have a rough idea. Yeah, the other thing is going to be, it's going to be recreations and other, recreations yeah. and other. They, they need, they need some support, yeah. support, some support somehow. Yeah. But uh, we're going to need feedback from the committees because um, the recommendation from personnel is going to be critical. Yeah. So support of the personnel, support of the board, we, we are going to have to justify um, the need and the request to the finance committee, yep. and they're yep. kind of data driven. So I right. want to be sure that you know we get feedback from the committees and the departments that need the help. Yep. It's going to be hard with with highway, but having Amy there to have that insight is going to be really helpful. Yeah. yeah. So we have to just start gathering all the um, supporting documentation to put these things in to be able to justify why um, you know why there's a need. Why we need it. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know, when, when I was out, I don't know if you talked about the additional full-time highway position. Um, no, we haven't got to that yet. Oh, okay. I don't want to jump ahead. Okay. So what were, were we thinking about with that? I know that we have not hired anybody in... Since two, we at least 2002. Wow. Well, yeah, flat, right. we flat. Um, we don't have a superintendent. Right now, so we're down one, and we're down one now. Right. But even fully staffed, 2002, we have had uh, staffing same levels number. the same number of employees since yeah. 2002. So that's the kind of position where it's going to be important to look at population growth, um, accepted road miles growth, commercial development, residential development, infrastructure changes, facility responsibilities. Well, all of those it. things. You're, you're right on top of it. Well, it's like all of those I things know. have changed a lot changed. in the past 20 years. Yeah. And we've also changed it to be a CLB driver and laborer, not a welder, not a mechanic. Yeah. CDLB driver and laborer. Yeah. Because I think you would get better response that way. Yeah. Because I'm not mechanically inclined yeah. on some things. That's what, you know, yeah. I mean, I can, but I choose not to, but no. uh, welding. I don't know how to weld. Right. Right now we need a body. Body. I would need to grow. Working. For 20 years to have the same number of people. Yeah, and all the other departments have gone, this just is not. Absolutely. And, and formally, you know, formally added responsibilities. You yep. know, where it was kind of yep. loose before, um, you know, with facilities management. Now we've got buildings that are getting yeah. older, you yeah. know, and yeah. requiring more attention. Did the buildings belong when Keith was here? Or was Danny that was added, I think, when of course Keith. I wasn't here, but I thought that might have been added when Keith came aboard. What was that? Oh, I see a nod in the back. <laughs> what? Was it? Yes. What was yes. adding? Building Keith. Yeah. As facilities. Well, I mean, Denny always did. No, but we only had the 1870 town hall. Right, right. This wasn't built until later. Yeah. So he only had one the town hall, the old town hall, or if he needed something at the Legion, probably. And now and you've got, it. now you've got this, the Bullard curatorial House. building, the Bullard House, the Highway Barn, 
the highway barn. The old, the old highway, highway barn. barn. The yeah. old fire okay. station. Fire station, the old fire the old, station. Yep, yep. Because yeah. we still keep right. vehicles there. Yeah. Yeah. The old yeah. ambulance. Library. Yeah, there's a lot. Um, so on this particular one, Margaret, have you started that process yet? Or like just even taking notes and writing down some of those things you just... You just no, but I can actually pull the data. I, that's, that's not that... I can get this historical um, you know, census data and then... The, um, yeah, but again, are we talking for next year? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we can't. There's nothing. I don't. I don't see us being able to do anything this year because our funding sources wouldn't be recurring funding sources. It would right. be free cash. Yeah. We're not going to fund recurring costs with that. Right. And um, yeah, that's really the that's really the issue. We have to look yeah. at next year. Yeah. So the other thing too is we've talked about a number of different positions tonight. Right. What's the tipping point? You know, how do we? How do these get prioritized? Where right. is the greatest need? What, yeah. You know. Um. Me personally, you need another CDLB mm -hmm. right away. Um, I don't know if you guys agree, but me personally, you need another body. You're already down one, and we haven't changed in 20 years. That I think is the wall. That and. At least 20 years. I, I, that's the earliest yeah. information I got. I don't know if it goes beyond. You know, I, I just I, I pulled think the that's 2002 me budget. Personally, that's my opinion. Somebody with experience will be hire or be just to be a driver and laborer. That, I, do you agree? Yeah. A B is the I, big target. Yes. I tend to lean towards having the administrative support so that some of the guys that are doing the admin, admin stuff can get out there as a quick fix until we can hire somebody in. But it doesn't sound like any of this is going to be done this year anyway. <sighs> so we wait another year. And in the meantime, if we can't get some type of administration, thank goodness for Amy going over mm -hmm. there five hours a week or whatever it is that she's doing. And, uh, you know, at least that that can at least get us started if she started doing a list of things that she's working on over there. And I'm sure at least she have computer access and everything over there so that she can... She agree, actually... Yeah, so that if you need her to get on something, yeah. she can... Yeah. Good, okay. Um, it's a good oh, year. Um, I know. I know. I know funding-wise that's an issue, but... Is this... This is... Yeah. Like a priority. Right. I'm almost thinking though a highway guy would be More a highway important. guy is a girl, whatever, it doesn't matter. Yeah, right. A, a, a actual full time because they're gonna be down a person. Yeah. How I would think we, that's first. How would we be able to do that uh, funding wise mm -hmm. if we Well right now we have money in well we can't get access to it, but there's money right now on the salary line. There just isn't. So I mean, I don't know why oh, you, you want to. So I'm you just take money guys. out of the highway superintendent's salary and move it to full-time wages. You could, but I mean, that's not going to solve the problem. That this would only be a gee, can you hire somebody to go temporarily full-time? I mean, I don't know what. The... Well, that would be a challenge. I mean. Because I'm just thinking for snow time, if we don't have anybody already lined up, right. yeah, snow right. is Tom snow said, is, snow is urgent. we may have to look at contracting and we don't really want to go that yeah. way. Yeah, yeah. Snow yeah. is yeah. winter's urgent. $200 an hour. Mm -hmm. um, it's a four hour In order to move money from one of the lines to the other, it's going to require a town meeting. Mm -hmm. um, and when you move money from a salary a salary line to the full time wage line, what happens to the highway superintendent? Oh, right. Maybe. Right. Because they're gonna walk in and want blue coop box anyway, so we're gonna need the money there no matter what. Which is great if we can do it this year, that's the only thing. I mean if we were gonna have a town meeting we'd just do it from free cash for that too. Or, I know it's not gonna do it that way. It stings. I know, I know. Like, what are we gonna do? I, I get. 
it's going to sound just as much if we don't have a working highway department. Right. And that's what we're headed for. We're right. overworked. Right. And then everybody gets burned. We've been those snowstorm 16 inches. These guys go to sleep in between. Uh -huh. one, so one guy, this is how it's done from the years I've been fans. You two guys were asked, we'll keep the main roads open. Listen, yes, I've done it. Nice. They don't tell me. We could no, look at making this temporary situation a permanent situation. Well, yeah, temporary. And temporary our, this temporary le department leadership, look at me, look at look into making it permanent, where um, they remain the, you know, or Jim, you know, remains the primary department leader. Um, um, you know, Fred takes on more facilities or something like that, becomes a facilities foreman, for example. And I know I'm talking and I'm just throwing out ideas, everybody. Right. I just don't think that either one of them, I, I, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. If you guys met with them, not me. But I, I don't well, know. and then, and then that's that right. would. No, it's not, yeah, it's not the long term. It's not going to, but we need to do something now. And my, my, I'm going back. You need a driver. Those storms, and we've all been here when they were all plowing, and so then we have so to look at this bit on the roof. Then we have to look at restructuring the department. Yeah. We have to look we're at how we up. get in. Yeah. yeah. I mean, other things happen in the building during the same snowstorm, same ice storm. How many guys do we have? Four. 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 That's four. four. And that's it. But we, luckily, we still have two that have experience. Two have no experience. No experience. Right. Right. Never plowed snow. It's a big difference when you get on the road. The car's coming towards you. What do you do? <laughs> right. So I do see a point now with just having the four that. In this. You, you, and are there positions that were just never filled, or was it. Never came up. Never needed it. Jim, okay. our snow and ice line is for overtime only. So we have full overtime, time overtime. And part -time. It's overtime. So you have one for overtime, one for part time. I'm not sure. How much is in the part time? Can you discuss that? Oh, oh yeah, it's public. I don't know off the top of my head. But it's had to could go a, up over the years. Could a. It, I'm going to cut that away. It was usually um, budgeted based on what. The year before? Yeah. Okay. I mean, the overtime is usually done at the rates, which is a little bit. There's a little bit more in full-time this year, yes. and there's a little bit more in overtime this year because we had guys that were paid higher for the budget process. Yes. But it's not much. I mean, it's not enough to cover another person. Mm. No, with benefits, too, so we'd have to take a look and make sure that we have Let's sufficient funding could in our you, benefits line. Could we advertise, like you said, as a temporary to permanent? Or you, can't, you don't want to do that, don't you? Yeah. I'd for no, I don't say that. Get somebody in here. I know. I, I just have visions of that ice storm. So, so we're talking, we're talking winter wages. I'm just trying to think. Um, yeah. I'm just trying to think about the winter budget but the budget line currently reads full time. It's overtime. It's only overtime. Yeah, because they're paid their regular week mm -hmm. pay out of the highway budget. Out of the highway budget. Mm -hmm. And there'll yeah. be nothing, there won't be enough money even without a superintendent gone. We won't have enough money for the whole year to pay to that driver. Correct. Mm, no. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe, maybe there would be enough. Yeah, but again, it, you don't really want to get rid of. I mean, I'd like to say we're going to attempt to do another highway superintendent. Maybe give it a few months or six months and try again. But well, it's uh, ten months away from your next budget, and you're only three mm -hmm. months away from winter. The mm -hmm. last some years, mm -hmm. you never know. It's the middle of August, September, October. October it snows sometimes. So, could I ask one of those select board members? What do you think? 
They left. Uh, they left. She's only one building. out of three. Yeah. <laughs> That's um, disclosure. You. Your personal opinion. It's your personal opinion. My personal opinion is that you need to support highway, but in supporting highway, you also need an admin. So you, those, those are the two that I would go after. I thought that whether it's whether it's highway guy and you, as Margaret was saying, and you, highway girl, highway guy. You never know. Um, you shift facilities responsibility to somebody there, so you really only go after highway person. Um, but you need you need that person to focus on that, and you bring in an Amy like person to support them for billing, because if if Tommy, you said that three people in the interview asked for an admin, and you said no to me, that would be like I'm up. I don't want to do. Well, we, I don't want to be. Was, remember? Oh, I don't want to be. Well, we talking. did say that there is a there is a recognition of the need. The right. need of it. Yep. And some of them went. Ooh. Really? I don't want to be my a desk jockey. Was, I want to be highway guy. Yeah, my you thought know? was that might help be a quick fix, but if if. If the thought is that we really need another guy on the road, I can absolutely understand that. Looking at four people and two of them are brand new. And not That's only that, that got. we don't know what's going to happen the next six months. And you're assuming that the other two will get their licenses in time. You, well, that's the problem. It's you talk to the two. That they're a little there slow, slow and yeah, yeah, they're old stuff now. Of course, what they think. Even online. Talk with mm -hmm. them. Um, you know, not about in-depth uh, reorganization. Um, yeah, I'd like to hear the new one. New guys, yeah. what they think. So, what can we do as a personnel committee to help with all of this? You know, I. So. With finance. In order to fund a position, we need an available appropriation. That's what we're missing here. Right. Right. A reorganization I'd like to explore a little more. I, we can crunch some numbers to see where we really stand. Would the finance back us up? That's a, ch that's a challenge. That'll be a challenge. Um, I mean, if we were going to do a temporary solution, this is definitely unforeseen. Do you know? We never thought I'm gonna, this was going to happen. I'm going to look. I'm going to look far ahead right now, and I know that this isn't an immediate solution. It definitely is not an immediate solution. If we got to the point, and I'm only I, I, I could say this on on an open meeting because I know Board of Health has talked about this. If if the highway department were to were to take over operations of the transfer station, and we strategically hired transfer station attendants who had CDL, who could actually pitch in on highway, yeah. and highway could pitch in on yes. transfer station, that would be a sustainable s solution. We're just not. There yet. We're not prepared. We're not, we're there, not there yet. Prepared. In fact, I mean, we're, we're definitely not there yet with the staff and shortage we have in highway. Um, but I'm, I'm happy to talk with um, I'm happy to talk with uh, a highway crew. I have to meet with the two new guys anyway, as I'm scheduled to meet with See them. See how they feel. Yeah. Um, I just I I've got a funny feeling that I don't think the way things are going again. They're gonna get in there before February, or they. Yeah. That's the problem. Yeah. When, when they're coming. Mm -hmm. So they'll be doing a little turn. And then, then they're gonna to have to start the process all over again. Cause you're talking February 22nd. After that, boom, you gotta to go to tractor trailer school. Yeah. No matter what classification. That's right. And it's five thousand. Even if they've already gotten their learn. Well, the state might hold back. You don't know yeah, what they might it's say. It's not really anyone's fault right now that you can't get in. So for them to change the rules during this particular period That's of time, what, I, you don't know what they're going to do. Mm -hmm. you, you just don't know. That's well, my issue I have. Yeah. So I, I recognize the need, too. I think that we need to brainstorm a little more because... It, it, it's not. It's not snap your. You know. It's not right. snap your fingers. Right. We have funding, and and I really am opposed to to applying one-time revenue sources to recurring expenses. I am because it's not sustainable. Yeah. Um, and um, chapter ninety can't fund labor, so no. that would be out. Um, 
So, do we as a committee um, would one of us have to meet with finance and present this? Yeah, I, I would absolutely recommend the personnel meet with finance. Yeah. When do they meet again? September. Oh, we got 14. We got to talk about this. I was going to say, yeah, we're not ready to go there yet. We're not ready. We need to. Well, well, not as a person. No, no, but no. no. To get that, start getting the data together, though. Mm -hmm. Start talking to the different people. Mm -hmm. This, yeah. I think I found that like, Bolton has eight to ten people. Mm -hmm. They have a lot more road miles, but still. Still, when you see a staffing level that has been stagnant for 20 years, yeah. that's kind of alarming. But also, like Michael well, said, the guy wants to transfer, work. when it's snowing and close the transfer, he can get in a truck. Because yep. you're not going to open the transfer when it's snowing out. Mm -hmm. And, and they stay? take that guy, Harvard does the same thing. Yeah. They Both take the transfer the guy, you're, in a, you're flying. Yeah. We're not opening up the transfer station. Right. A lot of your small towns do that. Thing. They all plow. Yep. Lancaster, yep. cemetery guys, water department, you plow. But we should have done this, not, nothing against anybody in this room. We should have done this five, five years ago. Hindsight's always twenty twenty. right? I know. But it's, and it's not easy. I mean, in fairness, it's not easy making a decision to add staff. It's, it's not. It's, it, you know, it's a forever expense. This um, budget stuff, you got to run it differently. It's going to be tough. It's, it's tough. I just don't know if we had emergency money. And I, like you say, you hate to take something temporary and then for the time being, you can't do it. It just makes no sense. And, uh, you know, frankly, and, and uh, you know, I certainly don't, don't mean this negatively, but school districts are very adept at um, having non-budgeted positions turn into budgeted positions. Right. <laughs> so, you know, and, and you know, we don't want to do that because that, it, it's almost, I don't want to say it's, it's disingenuous, but it's really not transparent. It has to be out there that if, if we're looking for a temporary position, we intend for that temporary position to go permanent. You know, it has to be out there right, right at the beginning. Right. Yep. So. Yep. So yeah. next next steps would be um, get a little more information. Get more information on the adding yeah. piece. Um, so well, we can get job descriptions. I mean, yeah. every right. Boylston has an admin. You know, and yep. so all of our comps would have admins, so we could certainly mm -hmm. do that. The other thing is pull together um, information um, about a full-time highway position, the changes in the town, the uh, current staffing versus other towns and their current staff. Yeah. Or possible reorganization of the department. Yeah. I think that should stay yep. up there. Yep. I'm going to reach out. I, you know, if, if you know, if you're all okay with this, yeah. I'd like to reach out to my colleagues. Given that there are so, so many, um, I don't know if this is even going to matter. It really, is, I don't think it's going to benefit us in any way. Never mind. I, well, I was going to, I was going to say, see if anyone might be interested in a regionalized approach to highway superintendent. You know, the sharing of highway superintendent. Or, I think that's going to be. Yeah, that, that's yeah. tough. That's tough. It is. It every is tough. town is so different. It is. And everybody's going to need that person. And when we were looking at stuff like that with the school, it's because they're always more important. So you'd expect people. To and most towns don't have facilities. It's a whole different department, whole different setup in budgeting. That's true. So now you're looking at looking at two different jobs. That yeah. you, three different jobs. Yeah. Basically, it's not it's, a part -time it's position. You no. Have you have to, yeah. It, it. So we have to then figure out how to address that. Can I make one recommendation? 
Have we actually talked to the highway department about it? Oh, I, yeah, I, I already wrote that. Okay. <laughs> just, yeah. just because it would be nice to have their input. As yeah. As yeah. As if we're going yeah. To would you want one of us to go? No, that's not going to be good to The biggest thing is that we recognize how much they're putting forward. Oh, yeah. That they're going above and beyond. Audience we has a question. We, we certainly, audience. Oh. Is it possible, and, and I don't know, um, building commissioner type people, do they have the skills to be facilities type people? I, I don't know. You know, I mean, I'm trying to think, you know, box. Did our former building commissioner actually have facilities? Was there no? No. There are towns that actually do have a building commissioner no, who's a facilities director. At one point, there was a janitor or maintenance. I don't know what you want. Custodian. Custodian. That was oh, oh, the town. I, I think you're referring to the actual big stuff. The facilities. Yeah, the real facilities. It, I, it's one of those things where technically right now where we don't have a custodian here, mm -hmm. you need the highway department to help because we don't have anybody else to call. Right. But if so, you were to have somebody who oversaw and then just have a couple of foremen that are supervising whatever they're called, mm -hmm. if but that's what you're getting at. It is. So I didn't know like if, if the same skill set that you would need to oversee facilities is kind of sort of embedded somehow in yeah. a building commissioner type of person so instead of hiring another Richard you find someone who's down here who can do the oversight of the custodian people who know how to do some of the basic stuff yeah. but also can go back to the commissioner type guy to say the HVAC just blew what do we do well that's what yeah. the highway is doing now Correct. I actually um, I've actually Fred um, is uh, I am encouraging him to take the building operator certification training this fall. There's going to be a, a course. So my hope is that you know he's kind of focus on that. But but to your question, there are towns that have a building commissioner who is also a facilities director. So well, maybe that's a question for Richard to try and like brainstorm with him and just. So I mean that could maybe take some of the pressure off of the meat. The Correct. The buildings. Are but here's the part issue at this time, the way everything's going, yeah, the economy is selling houses. He oh, I understand. Oh, I understand that. But I'm saying somebody just coming up the ranks who maybe is not a full-fledged building commissioner might be in training lower level, have that experience. No, I get it. But like uh, the guys that we use have their own businesses. I know. Because so really doing, because it, it would be better finding a kid from Amsterdam that we were going to learn. We're looking for the building inspector before. Yeah. Those people are making a lot more money yeah. out there. That's and once again, it's a budgeted thing. It is. It's this is why we're seeing. Yeah, it's going to have seeing a lot of a lot of leaving municipalities and a lot of. We need to sit down and we need to have listen to the. You know, listen to some of the people from Highway. You need to all sit down and just. Oh yeah, I'll be. I'm gonna be talking to all of them. I want well, to. Um, and get finance. I've never been to a finance uh, meeting. Is it? Uh, you it, should come. Exciting. You fun. should definitely come. Mm -hmm. You're missing well, so. Much. I think there's gonna be more budgeting in everything. I'm sorry, but I know they cost taxes and everything, but. Well, if there's anything that we, as the personnel committee, can do to get started on any of this information, could could um, on the admin position, yeah, would, would one of you be willing to reach out to our comp towns to get the job descriptions for their highway admins? <laughs> Actually, Thank, that would help. Yeah, that would help. Okay. How long is that guy been there? Highway, the highway. Yeah. yeah. Nope. Um, data, I'll, I'll share, well, as well, I gather data, I'll share it See what we can get for us. Reach out to other towns about yep. admin job descriptions and rates. We could look at, you were talking about Bolton, they have eight, eight employees in their highway department. We can no, certainly we get the 12. staffing levels for our town too. Maybe 12 in the winter. They, well, no, they sell out. 
they just yeah, they have some people put out there and they've always subbed out. With Yeah, well, I don't know. I didn't know that. Most they think they'd have to do 
It's not a fillable form. If that's what you're asking, that would be great if we online had that. because a lot of us do do that. Great if we had that. that. You could talk to um, Jane. Maybe, maybe. Maybe we could do something okay. like a fillable form. Well, you could online. talk to Scott. Or Scott. Mm -hmm. Same well, thing as volunteer. Right yeah. Fillable form online. Do you do online at the hospital? Yeah. There's somebody strictly online. online. Yeah, strictly online. Office that can do we don't that take paper thing. applications or resumes. It's the work office. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, oh, oh. I think so. I think you just you just can't work with them. Show you give them. We need this made into a fillable form. Yep. That would be. Would that be great? Everything would, would be, be online. You could go zip out in 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 out. So social media policy, employment application. Would you need to look into like a DocuSign if you're going to do something online? Usually the job application is signed. They don't have to be signed. Yeah. Not for an application. Okay. No, well, a job application usually is signed. Is it? It usually is signed. But there might be a, you might be able to do an electronic signature type thing. Or do you just say, by checking this box, this is my yeah. written signature, blah, blah, blah. Told the truth. Yeah. I told the truth and everything. That's a good idea. Yeah, I certified the information. Mm -hmm. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, look at you. Oh. Wow. You're going to call it. If you do I think you guys have work all day. You know, just you got to give me 15 minutes so I don't. I know. So I'm working. But I, I know, thank you. You have come to the rescue. Do we do have to have we do have to have a continued conversation and I'll be talking to the board too. Maybe we can um, maybe we can schedule a joint meeting in the near future. But I do want to uh, have a more in depth conversation with Jim and everyone at Highway about yeah. um, reorganization options. I just wanna hear what they have to I do I think that's uh, really important too. Okay. Anything else? No, I think, um, Claire, you should um, okay. say your magic words. Yes. <laughs> Hearing none other, are we okay to adjourn? Second. All right. Aye. Aye. <laughs>